Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Jaden Sancho has made a positive first impression after signing for the Blues in the summer transfer window. It's been a slow, but steady start to the campaign for Enzo Maresca's Chelsea having taken 7 points from the opening 12 available to them. The Blues' only defeat of the campaign came in their opening day clash with Manchester City and since then, have gone unbeaten. Chelsea shot a blank during that clash with Pep Guardiola's side, with last season's talisman, Cole Palmer, quiet by his usual standards, with some people suggesting he was marked out of the game against his former club. It's perhaps understandable given his short break after international duty with England this summer, but then again, a week later he scored and grabbed a hat-trick of assists during the 6-2 win over Wolves at Molyneux. Maresca's squad has changed a fair bit since the opening game of the season against City and the arrival of Jadon Sancho has had a positive impact so far. The former Manchester United winger looked lively against Bournemouth and could make his starting debut in Saturday's clash with the Hammers. Take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are bumping here for the very first time. With Sancho on the left, it would allow Palmer to move centrally into the number 10 role. The two England internationals operates incredibly well in between the lines and playing together should, in theory, give defenders plenty more to think about. Sancho's trickery, when he's at his best, is almost unmatched and we just didn't see enough of that during his time at Manchester United. His two stints with Borussia Dortmund have shown there's a player in there capable of playing at the highest level, now, it's time for him to do it at Chelsea. I said last week, since he arrived here, he is working hard, working good, on and off the ball, Maresca said when asked about Sancho's work ethic ahead of the clash with West Ham, something which came into question during his time at Old Trafford under Eric Ten Hag. We used the international break to focus a little bit more on him. He is doing good. Maresca's pre-match press conference shone a light on how Chelsea could line up this weekend, hinting at an enticing attack. He said, as a left winger, we have Jaden and Misha. As a right winger, we have Noni and Pedro. As an attacking midfielder, we have Joao, Felix, and Cole Palmer. As a number nine, we have Nicholas and Christo Nkunko. We have two players in each position. Now, Christo can play as a nine, an attacking midfielder, or as a winger. Kiernan Dewsbury Hall can play in the pocket and can play wide. Pedro was playing as a left winger because Jaden was not here, was not fit, and Misha, between him, Jaden, and Pedro. I preferred Pedro for that game. But that doesn't mean I will always prefer Pedro. The squad is quite clear in terms of position. All of them have positions, and we have two players in each position. Now, because they are versatile, for sure, we can move them. Christo played the first game against City as a winger. That's all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later with another video. Until then, bye-bye.